Yes, sir. Welcome to another episode of Black Friday right here on Podcast and Chill. I am Len Muleko and this is a part of Podcast and Chill where we make your business our business. And if you have a business that you want to make our business, it's very simple. Head out to our website. This is mcg.com. There's a contact us tab. Go to it. Click it. Fill in your details, what your business is about, and you could be sitting right here telling us exactly what it is that you do. Now today, I'm sitting with a guy who probably loves rain more than any of us. And that's simply because uh, the more the rain, the more wash, right? <laughs> actually, it's, it's the other way around. Oh. Um, winter is actually our peak time. <laughs> oh, really? Yes. So when it rains, so usually what happens is it rains for a long time. And people are like, mm, I, want, I want to wash my car, I want to wash my car. Okay. But in, in, in winter, that's where we actually get like bookings coming in like this. So, and I also thought when it rains, I'll get more car washes, but yeah. no, it's the other way around. <laughs> okay, no, fair enough, because most instances I will look at my weather app and check, is it going to rain? Okay, cool. I'm not going to wash my car. Exactly. Mm. So maybe I'll leave it for tomorrow or the day after that. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome Ayanda Tata to Podcast and Chill, the Black Friday edition. He is Mr. Mo Wash himself, Mr. App of the Year at the MTN Developers Awards earlier in 2019 or late 2019. Yes, in October 2019. So yeah. So we got a best uh, breakthrough app developer. So it basically means that's the best developed app out of the entries that were there in 2019. More wash, car washes. Like, <laughs> I'm thinking a car wash, and like, yeah, wash my car. But you've just come through and you've literally changed the game. Yes, so basically, you still can. You still can go to a car wash, but um, now we're giving you a choice. Hour, you don't, don't have, have to. Two, two yes. hours to chill <laughs> yes. and like, in a queue. It's, it's, we've, we've come to a point whereby you can literally do everything while you're at home. Yes. So basically, anyway, and we're giving you that freedom that yeah. whatever you want to do, you can, you can do it from anyway. You don't have to be at a car wash or you don't have to drive somewhere. You can just get onto your phone, do what you want to do, and then that's it. Man, order a car wash, order food, order whatever you want, just on your phone. So, Ayanda, you, you were sitting down somewhere on your couch or on your office chair at some point in life, and you decided... This is what I'm going to do. Why? Um, two reasons. The big one was, so I live here in Midrand. And yes. where I stay, there's actually about four car washes within a kilometer radius. Yes. But whichever one you go to, you spend a minimum of two hours. So even if your car is first, now you're going to be sitting there watching the guys washing your car. And you're just sitting and you're doing nothing. And on top of that, you have to then spend something on peanuts, uh, something to drink. Yeah. So you end up spending more and you're wasting time. So I was like, no, I man, there must be an easier way. And at that time, I was actually employed, thinking, imagine I'm working Monday to Friday. And then now Saturday, I need to, I've got this chore off. You have to go and get your car washed. Mm. And I was like, no, there has to be a better way of doing this. So then that's how More Wash came about. And at that time, I also wanted to learn how to develop apps. So yeah. More Wash is actually the first app that I developed myself. Okay. And it broke through. And it broke through. It broke through. <laughs> Definitely, it broke through. So you you start More Wash. Um, obviously, you get it out there. And how was the response upon inception? It was, uh, it was awesome, I must say, because also, so with Moash, we're like the first people to actually take it and put everything on the car, and people are like, huh, I can order a car wash now. Yeah. So that was, that was big. Uh, some companies have actually came after us, and now they're trying to emulate the same thing. So you can see the trend is now going mobile. Yes. Um, so, so you now have a choice of doing whatever you want to do. So that was, the response was great, um, and even now. I mean, when someone hears about more wash, they're like, huh? You guys can come and wash my car. Mm. The next thing is, Yo, but I don't, I'm not sure where my tap is or oh, um, electricity in my house. And they're like, no, 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 don't worry. We Just come with everything. Car. Just give us the car keys. That's it. And th the interesting thing is uh, you get situations whereby you go to a traditional car wash, if I can put it that way. You obviously give the guys your car. They will drive it through the machine and they will do all sorts of things. In certain instances... Let's say you forget your wallet in the car that has coins in it. These are things that people go through. And these are 
let me call them fears that people have like ah i left my ipad in the car ish is it going to be safe whatever 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 surely there is those kind of guarantees or those kind of things that you come across when people are booking car washes be it it's at home be it it's at office parks because you also do office parks we, as well. we do a lot of office parks yes um so we do come across those situations where people are like uh, but are you guys safe mm. but also remember with us you just said you give your car to a guy you don't even know his name yeah um so with us you know the guy uh, and we also know that booking number 110 yeah. was done by ayanda and just for that as well for that transparency that you know it actually gives uh, our users some sort of comfort and it's only got to deal with one person yeah that person was there yeah. and like going to a car wash and be like guys who was driving my car who was doing this who was doing that with us one guy or two guys that are yeah. coming to you um and also we so our guys know one of the biggest things is um theft we do not it's not even something that we talk about mm. uh, and luckily We've been running for over three years. We've never had a case of something being stolen yeah. in our car wash. What we've had is we've actually found things that were missing, <laughs> the clients were missing <laughs> for a long time. If I were to give you like a funny example, so there was this one guy, um, he had lost his ring for wedding two years. Ring. Wedding ring. You? Lost it for two years. Went and bought another one. He was still married. Went hey, and bought another like one. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, he went and bought another one. Oh, cause, oh, you know, like, oh. And then we come and we wash two years later and like, hey, there's a ring here. And I was like, you guys are good wow. <laughs> you even found a ring that i thought i lost <laughs> but yeah so we actually do um very well in terms of trust and people know us and people are like yeah this guy is coming so i know this guy is coming and i trust this guy and also we've got a, a rating system on the app yeah if you have any issues any issues at all you can then just go there give us a, a feedback select the wash that um you were doing and just say on this time this is what happened and then we attend to it all right, so in terms of the size or the mode of vehicle that you wash, uh, I don't know if I want to go as small as a bike to as big as an 18-wheeler. Is, <laughs> is it ever too big or too small for more wash? Actually, so more wash has proven that it can wash anything. Um, we, when I started, it was mainly your so small cars for me are hatches and sedans. Yeah. And then you've got your SUV and twin cab. So those, that, those would be the medium cars. And according to our definition, the big cars were like your eight-seaters. Yeah. Uh, and then, for example, I remember we once got a client. So I've got a client now who uh, owns about 20 buses, 62-seater buses. Yo. And I was like, you guys can wash cars. So <laughs> why not buses? Yeah. Uh, we went there and we actually got to wash. And we've got a good relationship with the guy. Because yeah. all it takes is basically just the same equipment, same everything that you've mm. got, and then you can wash. So you can wash all of them. And also, with the smaller cars, um, we so some clients are like, no, but I've got a motorbike and I've got uh, a bicycle. Mm. So you guys can't come to my house and then wash my car only. And then my bicycle... Uh, yeah. And, and, and they're even like, no, we're actually willing to pay the same amount. Same amount as a car for a bike. <laughs> So you can go bike, so bicycle. you can go bike, you can go everything. Basically, we can do, and the equipment that we use is good for everything. The water issue, a uh, very contentious issue in this country. We know that wash, water is a is a scarce commodity. It is, and car washes are usually one of the first things that come to mind when people say, "Yeah, but the wastage of water." How good are you guys in terms of ensuring that? the usage of water does not exceed what is accepted. So with us, for example, we use 80% less than um, the average car wash. So currently an average car wash uses 160 liters of water, sorry, 150 liters yeah. of water on average to wash a car. Because the guys are connected to a tape and for him, I mean, there's no, it's just pumping and pumping. Yeah. But with us, we've got a 250 liter tank and that tank basically um, is meant to wash 10 cars so the guy knows that i need to wash 10 cars or else where am i going to refill <laughs> yeah <laughs> so because of that the guys we've got like a systematic way of making sure that you don't go above 30 liters of water to wash your car wow that's, so that's like a bucket yes that's actually very impressive ayanda um in terms of reach and when i say reach i mean how far you can go for anybody who orders a car wash number one number two if anybody wants to get hold of you, 
how do they do that? Let's start with Reach. So in terms of Reach, we actually we are operating in um, Joburg. So yeah. uh, our center is Midrand. So yeah. anyone who's 40 kilometers or less from Midrand, yeah. you'll be able to get there. Uh, easily and the app actually tells you that your location is supported so if you go into the app go to supported locations yeah. you'll be able to see if your location is supported or not okay and then in march we are starting our national launch so we're going national oh but on okay. top of that we've got about five countries in africa that are interested oh yeah, so by the end of this year we'll definitely not be in south africa alone and that's one so and then in terms of how they can get in contact with us um so on facebook Twitter and Instagram. Mm. We are at MoWash ZA. So yeah. it's got a ZA at the end. And uh, our website is basically www.mowashapp.com. Okay. And then it's got all the contact details, who to call, who to email, and all of those things. All right. And if anybody wants to book a car wash, they just go to the Play Store, they go to the App Store, look for the app. It's look called for the app. Mo it's called MoWash. Mo and it looks like this. Yeah. So MoWash. And you can just go download the app, and it's very easy to use. I mean, if you see, you can check the reviews as well on yep. the app stores. You'll see users are like, this is simple to use. You can register with your Facebook. You can go in with your Google account. Uh, you can use a normal email password. And yep. then from there, you just, and you can pay on the app as well. Okay, cool. That's actually what I was going to ask you. <laughs> so there's a payment gateway on the app. There's a payment so everything gateway. Is done there. You can pay on the app. But on top of that, because in South Africa, people love using cash and yeah. they also love using their cards. Yeah. So we carry uh, mobile POS machines. Yeah. So you can swipe as well if you want. Okay, so cash, you can swipe, you can pay on the apps. Yes. So you have no excuse. No so excuse. So come rain, <laughs> come sunshine, come winter, come spring, it doesn't matter. All you need is more wash. And you heard it. You heard it from uh, Ayanda. Just go to the app store. Uh, just go to the play store and uh, make sure you download the app. Book your car wash. And uh, yeah, Midrand is not only about people without furniture. We also have more wash. <laughs> we wash. Is, yeah, we wash. We wash, which is also going out on the continent very soon. But we'll get those details. You'll obviously update us as soon as... Yeah, so I'm always updating info. on my pages yeah. just to tell you guys what's happening. So it's all going to be out there. Just follow at more wash ZA. All right, cool stuff. Ayanda, thank you very much. Uh, thank you for keeping our cars clean. And thank you, uh, yeah, he's going to be expanding. So be on the lookout. Check out the social media pages. Download the app. It's on the App Store. It's also on the Apple i uh, Apple um, App Store <laughs> as well. <Yes. laughs> yeah. So yeah, it's been a good one. Ayanda, thank you very much once you, again. Uh, this has been Podcast and Chill, the Black Friday edition. My name is Len Moleko. He's Ayanda Dadla from Mowash. And uh, yeah, we'll see you on the flip side. Thank you.